Hi, Aquarius. This is Kelly from Moon Pai Tarot. This is going to be your 11-day <clears throat> forecast, July 21st through the 31st, 2018, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, just check the description box below. All the information is there. And for you guys, I'm attempting to do a live chat stream Sunday, July 22nd, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you'd like to join me, it's just going to be um, my intention with it is just have a little chit chat, little fun, maybe pull some cards, nothing deep, you know, just to try to um, connect with you guys better. So hopefully you guys will be able to make it um, or at least join in. It's the first time I've ever done it. So um, I really don't know how it's going to go. <laughs> And I'm hoping it will go well. In fact, I'm hoping that I will be able to do it because I, I've never done it before. So I'm not sure how, uh, how, you know, if it doesn't work out, if it doesn't work out, and then we'll try again next time. But in the meantime, that's the plan. Okay. So let's see. What are the energies? Hello? Okay. We're just going to start there for Aquarius. July 21st through July 31st. Sun, moon rising, Venus. And I like to tell people, you know, when I listen to tarot card readings, because I do have um, I do have one tarot card reader. She, I do actually utilize her services sometimes, and she's a mentor for me. Um, usually, um, listening to your Venus, if you're listening about a love relationship, uh, partnership, listen to your Venus sign, and um, you can listen to your moon, because the moon has to do with our emotions, um, and if you're cross-watching, listen to their Venus, if you know it, and their moon, but you can listen to all, too, of course, or just get a personal reading for me, plug, plug, <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping that we'll get a good reading for you guys. I'm starting with the Four of Pentacles, and I do not pull these cards in reverse. Ugh, I hate that card. I wish that wouldn't come up. Maybe in the context of the other cards, it won't be so bad. Two Sevens, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacle energy here. Of course, the Devil, and the overall energy. The Ace of Wands. I feel like you got this in June. The Ace of Wands. Um, so the overall energy with the Ace of Wands, there's definitely going to be a new passionate beginning or uh, a new potential for a new passionate beginning. Oops, I just knocked over some of my candle wax. Sorry about that. Um, during this time period, you might have like, um, you might get some type of opportunity that could come for you. Wands are always cards about action. <clears throat> so, and I, I probably will clarify this, but this can be um, a new romance. Sometimes that's a very phallic symbol. <laughs> this can be a new pro uh, project or a new job, new inspiration or urges, heavy, passionate urges happening during this time period that could be expressed. There's something new happening here. With the Seven of Pentacles over top of that, this is kind of a this this card, I feel like you're waiting for something. You're being very patient during this time period. There's, If it's not you, it's just this energy of this patience waiting for something new to begin. And something perhaps with the Queen of Pentacles and Earth Sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, something new could be starting for you. 
pentacles do sometimes have to do with money or work. Um, this is waiting to see if something's going to develop with someone. But it's, it may have been delayed or may still be delayed, but it's coming. Okay, so you also have the Four of Pentacles happening here, which is, this is like a desire for long-term security. So in the context of a relationship or love reading, this is some type of desire for a long-term relationship. But there's an issue here with the Seven of Swords, which always talks about some type of betrayal, theft, deception. Or lies. There's also a very strong, maybe even uh, codependency or addictive quality in relation to an earth sign. Okay, so I'm going to pull some clarifying cards to see if we can get more information in regards to this. Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, reversed. And that kind of feels to me like someone who's maybe, th this energy is stubborn. For something, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> it's, it's definitely immature energy because with the Ace, it's just the beginning. But the, it's so like, slow going even the knight of pentacles in the upright is you know this is a horse that doesn't move this is like trying to get a donkey to move trying to get the situation off the ground <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry it's like i get i talk so much that i get uh my voice i don't know so the knight of pentacles so he's like so this stubborn stubbornness and in the reverse it's even more it's to me it's not it's not like oh, all of a sudden he just starts galloping no it's like he doesn't even move so i feel like um there's just this delay delay but it's coming the potential for something with someone is definitely there just taking forever <laughs> to get there you know this but i feel like somebody wants this like some type of a long-term thing. So let's take a look at the Seven of Pentacles. Why is this delayed? It could be delay due to, because um, knights are always, you know, knights are movement cards, right? Because they're on horses and horses gallop. So this could have something to do with delay in travel or delaying um, to get something off the ground or to meet someone that could be that. Um, let's take a look. All right, 10 of pentacles on the seven to the 10. I feel like, um, you know, the whole kitten caboodle is what you're looking at here. And that's what the delay is, getting to that place, you know, that you really want to be. <clears throat> if you're looking for some kind of romance, you know, it's on the table. It's like, I almost feel like it's like right there, like you could just reach out and grab it, but something's holding it back. And it's this, there's this stubborn energy that's playing out that's making it, there's there's some kind of block. It's like a heavy wind that knocks you off your feet, but you can't see it, you know? You only know it's there by the outer circumstances. And this 10 of Pentacles energy here is in the context of a romance or relationship. And this is having it all. And it's just delayed. It's difficult. You can't get it yet. 
So I feel like you're in limbo a little bit or somebody's in limbo to give you what it is that you want. And because there's something holding, holding back now. All right. I'm going to pull, I'm just going to pull them all. Okay. Justice. Six of wands. <clears throat> You know, pentacles with the three of cups in the reverse, the devil. All right. I feel like someone wants to do the right thing here with the justice card. <sighs> Sorry for the yawn. I don't, I'm so tired. I don't know why. I think it's because of your reading. <laughs> This delay, it's like making me tired. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, somebody wants a win-win solution. And this long-term security for you and for this other person is a win-win solution, right? Because I feel like you can give that person what they want and they can give you what you want. Be careful, Aquarius, if you're being a bit manipulative or lying or things like that in order to be the victor in the situation. Be careful of that. That's a message that's coming through. Make sure that you, if there's something that you're, if you're trying to go after someone or there's someone that you want to be with um, and you're unsure of yourself about this person, You may even be unsure of this person because it may, this person might be outdating a lot of people and you, you know, are having a good old time and, you know, partying it up or whatever. And you may not feel, you may be, you may want to try to um, snag them so you can be the victor um, because it, it might be a challenge for you in some way. But I also feel like, too, that you're dealing with someone who is out enjoying themselves and, you know, doing whatever they're doing. And this person has definitely some sneaky energy around them or isn't, you know, in in their life. And it, and it makes them feel um, cocky, bold, strong to get away with things for whatever reason, why ever, well, why, why they're acting that way. They might be just trying to prove something to you. They might be trying to show you that they don't need, um, you, <laughs> but they want to be with you. It's really crazy. Um, I kind of feel like this is mixed energy here. Um, I mean, I don't necessarily feel like this person is doing anything wrong in some sense. They're just, they just have stealthy behavior. You know, they're, because um, justice is upright. Even though the seven of swords can be a card of betrayal, deception, and lies, justice is not. And I feel like it, this card might, resonate more for like white lies like for instance if you ask the person what they're doing they might say oh i'm going out with my friends and there's gonna be a lot of guys around there but they may just be saying that to get your attention they don't have intention of being with a lot of different females you know they don't really have that attend like they're not really gonna do that i feel like females or males they're just saying that because maybe you're the one who is not you're the one who's holding back 
could be that. Maybe you're holding back a little because you don't really trust them to some degree, right? And then, and then, so it's like, like this back and forth energy. So you don't, it's like the chicken and the egg, you know, you don't, you don't fully trust them. So you're not coming out with things yet. Cause you're kind of just like, Hmm, because you think that they're going out doing all these things, but they're actually saying that they're doing all these things or giving the impression that they're doing all these things, but they're only doing them so that you would make a move forward towards them. Right male or female, whichever. I mean, it's the energy. I know some sometimes people do that. It's a little game playing, even though we don't have the five of wands here. It's just a little bit of game playing. But I, I feel like, quite honestly, this other person and you both want the whole shebang. <laughs> you know, you want that, you know, you want that money, you want that nice house, you want that, you know, security, security, uh, where, where are we at? Security, security. These two are definite security cards. Four of Pentacles is, you know, holding tight. It's also blocking a little bit. Somebody could be blocking their heart and just using work as an excuse um, for why they're not really coming forward. Sometimes I look at this card and I feel like it's like shield, like a shield. They're holding onto their shields, holding on tight to their money, you know, but it's definitely a security card. Some Somebody feels really safe in work <laughs> or maybe this is a work relationship and somebody feels safer in the work environment. You know, it's kind of a weird message, but I do feel like it's coming out that way. So, but this devil card here, mm, a very strong sexual attraction between you and the other person. Uh, and, and there's this feeling, this co feeling compelled. It's almost as if this person relieves your anxieties in some way, you know, with the nine of swords reversed. Somehow, even though they're saying or doing the things that they're doing, they're kind of like still relieving your stress. Maybe they just have like that effect on you or something. I don't know. Um, I should know. I'm a tarot card reader, right? Um, there's healing energy connected to this person. And I feel like they hold on to you and you hold on to them for that. Um, now, sometimes the nine of swords in the reverse can be extreme torment. <laughs> so that could come across where the attraction that is there can be tormenting because there's a delay in getting together and it just makes the compulsion stronger, makes the, uh, uh, the attraction stronger, you know? It's kind of like a double-edged sword, you know? It, it, it brings healing and relief and torment at the same time. <laughs> it's crazy, you know? Um, I just want to clarify a couple more things. I haven't really done like a double. Didn't I just say the five of wands? Did I or didn't I? I said the five of wands is not here. Game playing. Well, here it is. <laughs> that's conflict. That's competition. That's game playing. And that's what I wanted to put here. And so for me, that's exactly what this person is doing. They are trying to give you, they're trying to, kind of give you the impression that they're, you know, that they have a lot of admirers or they have a lot of um, people around them and, you know, they're wanted, that kind of thing. It's just to kind of get your goat a little so because I feel like you're, you might possibly be just sitting on your laurels there and, and not really, you might be just focused on work and focused on money and things like that. You're not really giving all this emotional junk to someone and um you know he might 
basically, you know, he or she, the Queen of Pentacles, might just kind of be like giving off. Giving off this fluff to kind of like being stealthy and sneaky, try to make you think that they have all these people competing for their attention. Yeah, so they're just kind of acting like they, they don't want to be in a partnership or a relationship, but they do. Because even the two of wands reversed, um, you know, whatever it is that they're they're doing, their plans are failing because you're not a dummy. And I, I feel like you see right through it. Like you just see right through it. Um, and I don't, like I said, I don't feel like this person is actually doing anything like... Um, crazy I don't feel like there's cheating but they're but you know it's possible they could just be indulging um, with the opposite sex but not actually doing anything maybe just a lot of flirting and you might be a little bit jealous because this four of Pentacles Sorry, this Four of Pentacles can be a card of um, possession as well. or they and, and they could have that energy as well. They could be a little bit jealous as well, have that possessive energy, and that's why they're doing that. Because, you know, you guys aren't, like I said, there's a delay in connecting with each other, or, you know, having a physical affair or having a physical contact or some type of... <laughs> So yeah, I feel like my um, computer keeps stopping and my microphone keeps going out. So I'm actually going to cut your reading a little short here. I, I didn't really need to clarify anymore because I basically did. But let's see what the um, energy is for. Oh. So there's unrequited love. That's what this feels like. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So if you wanted to keep going, um, you may need to put a little more effort in with this person if, if they're playing games that, you know, or if it's you who's playing these games, you may have someone who's just not clear and seeing the light and thinking, oh, you know, this person's not interested in me really because they're just out doing this and that and the other thing. And you, you know, the, the energy of, of just giving up could be playing out as well. So I, I don't know, like, what do you want to do? Do you want to... I mean, it's not even so much what you want to do. It's just that this could, this is just energy that could be playing out during this time. You know, I feel like for you, someone is just out there having a good time or making it seem like they are and they don't need you and they're delaying getting together with you. However, they really want to. They really do want to be with you but maybe you're not giving them enough attention or, you know, there's not enough. I just feel like someone's playing. I just feel like you've got, it's either you or the other person is playing a little game here. And it seems to me that, um, that's childish and immature. And if there's something that needs to be done here, then it's, you know, it's somebody has to kind of like step up and grow up and not play games. So, you know, hopefully the person you're listening to this reading for will get to that point because I feel like you're going to get to this point where they don't, you know, they don't stop or stop being like stupid, then you're out. That's basically it. Now, I'm not seeing that they will, but I am seeing that there is like a strong attachment. And at least for this time period, I don't see any breakups or split ups or you two not talking anymore. This might just, this is just coming through to me more as an observation or some realization that you might, you know, start to have about someone and may, you know, trying to like maybe view it from a different point of view, like why they're doing this. I'm not saying that you need to start doing cartwheels in front of them and get their attention. 
Um, I do feel like, like I said, this person does want that connection with you. And I don't see that it's going to go away. I just feel like for this time period, they may just try to make you think that they, you know, they may be doing this on purpose to get your attention. That's all I'm trying to say here. Okay, I'm going to end your reading. So do join me on Sunday if you can. If you can't, I will see you guys in August. All right, take care.